So you two are members of the elite upper crust nobility of Shantae's Citadel, where we went in the last Warriors of Waterdeep campaign. Now this is set about 50 years in the past, 30 years in the past, 40 years in the past, <laughs> something like that. 45. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> time. So this is when the Shantae Citadel was still um, populated by humans and elves and dwarves and uh, classic D&D races, and when it was still a v- part of a valley that was part of a huge amount of Shantae worship and farming and that sort of thing, before the dragon, before everything else that came after that. So you two are members of that noble crust, and you are currently thinking of doing something rather rash. What? What? Really? Some mysterious happenings happening in this season, so we'll get back to more of that. I think the editor's just uh, done, done something wrong, got something in there that shouldn't be there. I don't think... We let the kobolds loose in the editing suite. <laughs> <laughs> Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get this my. Be, uh, this will be a fun story. <laughs> 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 Somebody fed them after midnight and it's just all gone wrong. <laughs> the idea that kobolds can't be fed after midnight adds into another complication, which would be great. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the story of our five adventurers. So, at the end of the last season, you done murked the red dragon. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, let's start this one. Um, yeah, certainly, any more recap? Do you? That was enough. That's fine. That's totally fine. That's all we did. I mean, in the process, of, coming. Did yeah. In the process of defeating the dragon, you did make your way through the Harvest Shield Vale and do so uncover more about this location, including many small strings of subplot that might come into this season as well. So, probably best if we do a little bit of recapping. <laughs> <That's laughs> let's see if we I'll can say. do that as part of the story. So, the five of you are in Shantae's Citadel recuperating mm. after your massive fight with the dragon. Mm. Yeah, you can press the long rest button. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what? How would you be resting and recuperating? If you head back to Shantae's Citadel, Mroyet is alive. Oh. I rolled for yeah. it. I was fair. Mroyet took your advice, changed worship, now worships Shantae. <laughs> And in doing so, <laughs> avoided the fate. Although Talon is really pissed with him, but he doesn't. Yes, oh yeah. <laughs> that is wild. We That's amazing. That. We stand Royer. You saved Royer. We stand Royer. Oh my god. I'm going to have to send Prosperous. Absolutely flabbergasted. What was that? I'm going to send Prosperous to make links from Royer. I'm going to send Prosperous. <laughs> Don't cross the streams. I'm good. So. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, like great. our streams on their own are doing more for uh, awareness and uh, recruitment to to Shantae. Oh, I see. Where are you going? In game yeah. action. <laughs> anyway, keeping in this universe, um, mm. what would you be doing to recuperate? The Citadel is much the same as it was. Um, there are more guests arriving, which we'll come to in a second. So they are opening trade negotiations again. On your advice. What would you be doing to recuperate? What would be your idea of resting after the ordeal? Halbinet. Think. Sorry, you go first, Ed. Oh, just it, very shortly, Halbinet would be sleeping, as they are the only elf to do. I think that would be, <laughs> there would be about 10 hours of actual sleep and everyone would be going, is he dead? No, 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 are that's just what he, sorry. <laughs> are they dead? No, that's just what they do, that's yeah. all. <laughs> Anna, what were you gonna say? Uh, Kari is avoiding everyone. Oh. And um, how how warmly were we well welcome were we welcomed back into the citadel? Yes. Okay. When you returned from defeating the dragon, you managed to actually defeat the dragon. People didn't necessarily believe that you were going to do that, because it's a dragon. Yeah. Um the effects of the dragon on the landscape around are starting to recede slightly. You clearly did a good thing and people respect and like that quite a lot. Mm. And also, Mroyet took your advice. Yeah. Yes, I suppose what more can we say? Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, uh, two things. Yep. One, Yep. would like to find some alone time with Thomas that's not in the middle of being under threat. Mm, Interesting. That would be nice. Sure, sure, sure. sure. Um, and also, um, I'm really keen to find that knoll 
and the um, bugbear and find out if they <gasps> A, survived and B, have managed to, you know, talk to each other. Snarlgook. <laughs> Snarlgook was... Oh, yeah. Ganache! Ganache! Ganache. Ganache. <laughs> Knock. Um, <laughs> I'm also invested in this. Do you want to go and try and find them? Or do you want to spend some time with Thomas, some alone time with Thomas first? I mean, we could spend our alone time going to find them. <laughs> it depends on how invested everyone else is. Like, is this a group activity? I'm keen to, I'm keen to find out what's happened to them. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll come to that, that's fine. Um, so, Corrie's doing her own thing, sticking to herself. Halbinet has gone to sleep for as long as they can. Mm-hmm. What's Nailman doing now? I'm just walking around, uh, checking out what's going on now that everything's kind of chilled out. Fine. Mm-hmm. Um, probably not making too much of a scene because she knows she's not welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so probably just sort of like just observing, just sneaking around, observing. Mm-hmm. Uh, casually as one would when trying to blend it. Understood. <laughs> Maybe has a nap in the sun somewhere. <laughs> a nap in the like sun somewhere. Cat. Very nice. Like a cat. Like a cat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cory, where are you going on your lonesome? I think, so, the... Probably exploring bits of the citadel that she hasn't seen yet but trying very much to not go where she thinks she's not allowed because she really does not want to draw any attention to herself sure um there's a lot of homes that obviously you can't go in unless you ask for to, to go in there's quite a lot of destroyed buildings that are you know part destroyed where you can find spaces to sit oh, yeah. um the the veil is starting to come back to life in a certain way and i think a nice image if you're okay with it is you sat in sort of a it's a part destroyed building on some crumbling stairs that probably lead to nowhere. Mm-hmm. And you hear the beginnings of some bird song and a couple of small birds are floating, are sort of catching the rays and flying in between these various parts of the broken yeah. house as you're set by yourself. Hmm. Nice. Are you all right? Just assumes that wasn't for me. It is for you. Laryl Silverhand will step out of a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Did I startle you? No. Okay. You're beaked. What do you think? <laughs> How are you? Fine. Absolutely fine. Really good. Yeah. How are you? Uh, are you doing well? Uh, yeah. you, you good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm all right, thank you. Um I'm terrified. I actually <laughs> didn't teleport here. Huh. How did you get here then? Nice journey? Not really, but um I took I took your group's advice. I'm here with a um trade delegation. That's, that's nice. Starting some conversations with the um, Rolliet and people like that, and um, hmm. they seem very amenable. Yeah, good. That that sounds smart. I've been trying to reach Hal, and I can't get through to them. Do you know? Hal is asleep. It's a weird habit of theirs. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're towards kind of the main like bit of the citadel just mm-hmm. i think asleep in the sun somewhere or yeah right. a massive rug <laughs> <laughs> how are how are you really excellent <laughs> so nothing i can help with no uh, yeah, I mean, what do you mean? There's nothing to... Okay. I'm good. I meant to talk to Hal about this, but they're very much asleep. Um, you are all about to travel further on, aren't you? I think that's the plan. Mm-hmm. We still can't 
scry inside or divine what's happening beneath the mountains. So, um, no, might be your might be a last chance to talk for a bit. So, um, yes. Hmm. Yeah, I. To be honest, I don't know much about what the plan is. There was a book, and some people knew some things, but I tend to not know do you, things. Do you have the book? I think Thomas has the book. Right. Well, I guess I'll go and find him unless he's busy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I gave it to Thomas. I think Thomas with Shavarath. Oh, <clears throat> right. They were looking for a friend. <laughs> oh, I'm, I see. Oh. They, they were looking for a friend of ours. Um, huh. Last I heard. Okay. I'll, I'll go and talk to Thomas then. Um, I'm glad you're well. Thanks. Glad, glad you're also well. And Errol will awkwardly walk away. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> that was some fine role playing well played. Uh, Thomas Shavarath. Yes. Are you just beelining for what, like military barracks to ask about people? Like, what, what's the plan? How are you trying to find your friends? Are you having a nice saunter on the way? Well, you say beelining. <laughs> it's a nice day, right? Yeah. yeah. Just having a walk. Meandering. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some nice, it's it's up a hill. There's some lovely views. <laughs> Reconstruction is happening all around you as before. Pretty much nothing has changed here. Yeah. I can't really help with putting things up. If they wanted things taken down, I could probably help with that. <laughs> I might offer actually if they need anything demolished. Wait, I, I'm I'm sure there's probably bits that would benefit from being like strategically taken down, down so they can rebuild again maybe like, later. The, the, that that building over there that 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 tower is like half destroyed it's probably better for it to be fully destroyed so they can i feel like given that we sort of half destroyed that tower that might not be the best offer oh no ask ask permission first don't just do it i was i'm gonna just destroy a tower <laughs> i mean okay i might just Where, destroy it i might just <laughs> destroy a tower <laughs> like, not in the middle of a not in the middle of a city. I I know better than that. It will be fun though. Thomas <laughs> <laughs> does give her a slight side eye. <laughs> Significant. As you walk through the streets, you, there are various. Um, it is still mostly goblinoids of some description um, pottering around, fixing things. Generally, they seem to be a bit happier. The mood is generally a bit lighter. Um, how are you going to look for Knalguk and or Gnark? God, I had to really reach for those names oh, through all of the morass of the names you lot gave them. <laughs> Forever. I mean, they're not like stood in a, a central place, like no. looks like glow around them, no. like flower petals. No. Um, well, I guess we could go and talk to whoever's in charge and be like, hey. Yep. It's right. Where are your bugbears and um, gnolls? And are you aware of these two? Molly, Molly was keeping lists of the people who'd been killed, so he does keep track of the people who are around. Um, do you think he might be a little busy? Right? Do, is there, do we think there's like, have we met a lieutenant? A well, lieutenant? Were, were all... Maybe there's someone, someone who's not as important as Molly. I feel like we're... we're all... All his hobgoblins, they're, they're like the next yep. down, aren't they? So we could just go and like prod a yep. hobgoblin. But you do see po- a hobgoblin polite, or two wandering nearby. Yeah. Oh, or you you were getting on great with one of those animated armoured things that maybe they could point us yep. in, in the right direction. No, okay. wasn't. No, no. It, it, locked, it locked Gnomelin in a room. No, it that is true. Didn't go well. No. <laughs> no, there, there were other ones. It wasn't just that one. No, maybe we should ask a hobgoblin. Yeah. Um, uh, hey, hi, hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm Shivarith and uh, uh, Th- Thomas. I'm aware Thomas, of who you are. Step, who's a, a guard of what? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, anyway, um, do you happen to know of a um, a knoll called Hnalguk <laughs> and a, uh, a a bugbear called um, Gnash Gnash Gnark? <laughs> They're both scouts. A, a surprisingly handsome bugbear. I may say so. I, I, I'm told. <laughs> I may say so. <laughs> Hanalguk would say so. 
Well, I, I don't know anything about that. Um, they <laughs> they work as scouts. They um. Do you know where they are? Presumably scouting. <laughs> Not very helpful. I could check um, who's currently on patrol and see if they are out. That would be that would be really helpful, actually. All right. Please wait here. I've never heard such a posh hobgoblin. <laughs> I I <laughs> love them. <laughs> hobgoblins are Niall's favorite because they're. Hobgoblins are canonically posh. We did this last season. Oh, cool. This group this... of, not the entire species, this group of are quite militaristic. No, this specific one is snarky as <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, I guess we'll just have to wait here in the sun then and just chill out. Yep. There's a nice little well. park here with some grass trees and a bench. A bench. bench. I mean, if we if we go over oh, there, yeah. they'll, they'll still be able to see us. Oh, we'll be able to see them when they come yeah. back. So yeah. it works both ways. You know, we yeah, 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 yeah. can see them, they can see us. Everyone can see each other. I'm just talking now. <laughs> Thomas will just take Shavara's hand. <laughs> it's very odd not having things to do, don't you think? Yes. And also being sat in a citadel that's primarily made up of hobgoblins and the like it's a learning process well i mean at least it's devoted to Shantae now like it's not like a you know an anti-farming destroy everything place so that's good oh exactly that's a good point uh see i, I said we'd try um hopefully this is a good step who are you talking to ah. Laryl, Laryl is just behind two of you do, you do you have to do that you could just approach people from the front I just, sorry. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, uh, 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 Shantaya was who I was talking to. Right. Great, great. Was like, realized that we're still holding hands and be like, we're we holding hands or not holding hands. Mm, like, actually, I don't know. Uh, I've intruded. I'm sorry. I, um, we, just, we just sit there staring at each other, holding hands, going, <laughs> should we still hold hands? I don't know. We're still <laughs> holding hands, though. <laughs> I've, I, I, I've intruded. I'm sorry. I, I um, um. No, no. I, I'm. I, we're, we're pleased to see that you're making. I, I was trying to reach Hal, and um. They're asleep. Oh no, they're asleep. No, I've, I've heard. Yes, I, I, I found Cory, <laughs> and um, she told me that. Um, I, I didn't teleport. I, I came here with a, a trade delegation, actually. Oh great! Are you going to trade with? Uh, that's great. That's really good. I mean, so you, you walked here? Yes. <laughs> but, oh, but, yeah. Well. I mean, you could still have teleported and let the trade delegation come if you wanted to. But... It's, it's not seen as particularly um, polite to um, send a trade delegation somewhere that you're travelling with and then arrive right before they walk in the door. It's um... yeah. Nice views walking up the mountain, though, once you get past all of the... Um, the the dead things smell and the dead things and the the sulfur. I hear it's starting to clear up. Oh, oh good. That's good, probably good. since the dragon's gone. Um, it's barely been twelve hours, but um, eventually over time it will. Also, you know, I can um, and press digitates herself. There's no need to, but she does anyway. Um, <laughs> so, really, not a problem. Good. Good, good. Um, we were and, just sorry. saying how weird it is not to have anything to do. Yes, I find it difficult when I've not got a task at hand. Um, speaking of, Thomas, Cory tells me that you have a book. Oh, yes. Uh, you have that, a book that you didn't tell me about? Well, no, you knew about this book. This was the diary, remember? I, I read passages aloud to everyone. <laughs> I didn't know you had it. If you had it, I would have read it by now. We could have been reading. <laughs> Well, I, I, I read <laughs> it aloud with, with my voice. Well, uh, no, that, 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 that. Level's got the look. It's like. Sorry, bleeped out that. Um, that, yeah. was, that was quite nice, actually. To be fair. Uh, well, it's here. Uh, it's got a mirror on the front of it. Uh, I don't know why that would be the case for. I'm incredibly vain. Um, <laughs> well, it's not my book. No, 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 no. Sorry, I wasn't talking about you. Um, right. Helmut had mentioned it had um, information that you're planning on... You're still planning on going 
under the mountain to um, investigate this strange divination lock, aren't you? I I don't know what... Uh, well, we, no, we made a promise to... There were some giants up the mountain that helped us. Um, Kulna- Kulnazrium? They, they uh, had right. um, a stone, like the one that we gave you, the very dangerous one that you promised not to use. Um, I haven't used it. Inside. Sure. <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> Bad. It's thirteen. I it's very hard to read. leave her entirely. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 they had one similar, and they said that it came from under the mountain. So we figured there's some sort of chain of chain of events. Understood. Um, if it's all right with you, I'll take this book and I'll have a chat with um, um. No, we might need it. No, no, I'll give. I want to get an understanding of the situation before I send you out on some other dangerous quest. The last time you took something, you just took it. Can I leaf through it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, before before you do, actually, um, I'm assuming that, that this being a diary, there are blank pages at the end. Yes. Thomas is going to leaf to the end, rip out a few blank pages, pocket them, and then hand the book over. Uh, Lara will take the book, leaf through a few pages, and then touch it, and another diary that looks to be the exact replica will magic into the air and sort of... Can I telepathically, Thomas? Why? Why are you ripping out pages? Paper is useful to have. Oh, okay. Um, should we give back the original? There you go. If that's easier. Oh, oh, uh, oh that's sure. I, di- I didn't realize you could do that. Sorry. Uh, that is that is very. Cool. How how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's called fabricate. It's fine. Um, I I'll take this and uh, have a peruse of it and um. Talk to this Cornasrium as well. Are they? Did they come down the mountain with you? Yes, they did. Yes, they, they did. <laughs> they, they they wanted to trade with Molly as well. Splendid. Well, also they wanted Molly to stop sending people up there. S- something. Right. Um, they'd killed a lot of the the people. They turned them into stone. It was a bad situation. Well, hopefully, um, that can be resolved. I'll go and talk to both of them. See what I can find out. But um, I'll I'll, I'll stick around for a bit. I think together. Keep an eye on the situation. Oh, good. If you're looking for Halbinet, they're um, they're over in the the main bit. There's uh, the, sunny. You they, just you the, tap them very gently on the shoulder and you say, "I've made a cup of coffee for you." That's what mm. that's what Corrie does every morning, and it always seems to wake them up. I'll be honest. I'm um, this whole sleep thing I find very peculiar. <laughs> it's unnerving. Do you want me to shout at them telepathically? No, 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 no. no. Um, <laughs> If that's what they want to do, then I support them in their wanting to do that, and I will just not be there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ha- how? Telepathically. Ha- how? <laughs> Halbinet! <laughs> wow, Halbinet wakes up like Ed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who uh, calls? Look, I'm really sorry to interrupt you when you're asleep and all, but um, Lariel is here. Who is speaking? Hang on, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's Shavarif. We've literally known each other for weeks. No, I understand. It's just trying to get my sense back. You're with what? Who? Lariel. Right. Uh, if you're asleep, she's not going to come wake you up, by the way, but she is here if you want to talk to her. Fine. I, I'll, I'll be right there. I, I have this feeling that Halbinet has just woken up from their nap. Convenient. <laughs> Lateral's eyes will just sort of slightly just... Okay. <laughs> then I shall go and find them. Thank you both, and I, again, apologise for the intrusion. Um, no, it, it, it's fine. Um... Do you know any uses for dragon parts? Oh, many. They are a um, wide variety of spell reagents and uh, potion making and that sort of thing. Just, we've got a whole dragon. Oh, I was going to say, M, had you actually, well, sorry, Shavarath had, had Shavarath actually chopped it up, but I presume that that's well, not quite I the case. I took like little bits of it and then there's like a whole <laughs> corpse up there. Um, fair, fair enough. If you like, on your behalf, I could organise some salvage of the corpse and then um, reimburse you for the um, particulars. That's good. Can be arranged. 
Maybe more of your, you know, special magic things. I'm fine, but I know people who do. Oh, speaking of Shuarith, um, if you wanted to um, go and see the Black Staff, um, if you have a moment, um, have that coffee you talked about. I'm not, I'm not in Waterdeep. No, no, they could they could teleport you to them. But they don't know who I am. I can help arrange it if necessary. <laughs> um, Thomas gives Shavara the slight kick. Oh, um, uh, uh, yes, that sounds really good. Um, yes. <laughs> now? Now, if you like. No, not now. Okay. You can go now if you like. In like an hour? Of course, I'll happily arrange it for about an hour from now. Oh, good. <laughs> Splendid. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. I apologise. And um, <laughs> we'll turn around and walk further into the Citadel. What just happened? This is amazing. You're, you're going to get to meet the Black Staff. That's what happened. I don't have anything to say to the Black Staff. Well, uh, what... what uh, the last thing the Blackstaff knew about you was that I wasn't good enough to be an apprentice. Okay. Um, have you got a, a quill, I think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out like a roll of like 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, you stay here. Watch out for the scout. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to pace around this tree. Hello? Ta- oh. Uh, hello. You, you never actually gave me your name. No, I didn't. Could, could you? Ah. I just like knowing people's names. <laughs> names have a kind of power that I don't mess with. You just unless I have to. You just didn't think of one, did you? Um. <laughs> You're a spellcaster. Forgive me if I don't trust that. I can't use your name for anything. Everything I would do to you, I can do to you without your knowing your name. <laughs> Ganag and Nalgug are currently on patrol, but should return this evening. Oh, good. Can you invite them to dine with us? Fine. <laughs> I- I'm just going to call you Bob. Bob. If you say so. Very, that's very helpful of you, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I want to know if Bob survives. That's very cool. <laughs> the Citadel is now fine. They're all going to survive unless you do something <laughs> really stupid. This world. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge accepted. Um, as you are napping in the sun. Royette is standing over you. Ooh. Yeah. Now then continues to lie in the sun. I heard you come in from like a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> I have the alert feet. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, she's just laid there. Hello. Um... Afternoon. Things went well then. Um, Nemlin pulls out a dragon tooth and then puts it back in her pocket. Good. Kulnazrium tells me that you're going under the mountain. She sits up. <laughs> yeah. Nazrim's people made their own exit and filled it in as they went. Didn't want to be followed. Papers in this citadel show that they had an entrance. I can't find much about it. They say it's um, warded or protected. I can point you in the right way. Thank you. 
welcome. Anything you need from that? From under the mountain. Then up. You came to find me rather than the others, so I assume you have something you want doing. I thought we should clear the air a bit. Well, it's fresh air out here. How do you handle it? What? Always being the person people expect the worst of. Let's say to them, to you, to anyone that asks, I don't really care. Because I don't. What the people think of me is their business, not mine. And if they want to think so little of me, then they are more than welcome to. Um, and eventually, when they turn their swords or blades or magic hands against me, then they will join a litany of people whose hands I've chopped off and swords I have stabbed them with. But I lost one of them yesterday. Hmm. You got a blacksmith nearby? Yes, plenty. Well, I guess you and me can have a bit of a secret. You ask how I actually deal with people judging me? I'll come show you. Take me to the spikes, man. All right. He will take you to a nearby blacksmith. There are many in the system. Um, Naomlin takes the dragon tooth and starts to forge a handle for it Mm -hmm. and carve it out and make a dagger. And in Dwarvish, she prints the dagger along the dragon tooth with Halbinet written down Mm -hmm. in Dwarvish. And she shows the dagger to uh, Mm Molia. And she's like, puts it down on the side and is like, I do something I'm good at. Understood. And sometimes I can be really good at being the person people expect but I don't always have to be. And she pockets the dagger. I'm about to go into negotiations with the Open Lord of Waterdeep. This, you might not care, but um, this has helped immensely. You're welcome. Bless you. Um, <laughs> hey, if you come by any... Bless you. you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nearby Noel. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um if you come into any uh people of the Zentrum kind, um and they talk to you anything like that, um just let them know that um I got you back. Thank you. Because you might need that. Some of them are particularly nice, and you got a lot of money. And, you know, if, if it's already spoken for, then it should be okay. Thank you. I'll, um. Not that I expect you. I'll catch out here and that'll be fine, but I don't expect anything. I'm not expecting anything. All, all right. <laughs> Slightly unnerved. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> I'll, um. The effect this group has on people. Thank you. Don't mention it. <laughs> we're able to do a kind of slow not quite losing you <laughs> <Back. own. laughs> walk up like that only watches him leave <laughs> and then um, I think she like looks around a bit like lost again <laughs> and um, just sort of a bit more carefree this time because now she knows she's allowed to walk the streets unaccosted mm-hmm. um, 
she probably buys herself some food and just sort of like walks around the Citadel snacking. <laughs> you know, it's what, been a lot of cardio, a lot of food? workout. <laughs> yeah, now it's time to snack. I'm imagining like, you know, the little pretzel stalls you get in a shopping center. I'm imagining like one of those pretzels. <laughs> But it's really big because <laughs> she can do all of it. Yeah. So she's just like they, they, using the new knife to take chunks out of it. Yeah. Which enjoyed the fact that you just mathematically going. And if they've got any sauce on at all, it's like really difficult to eat because it's like. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, sticky. And the knife makes everything spicy because it's a dragon's tooth. Oh, amazing. Oh, spicy pretzel. That. that is an awesome, like just a. Mm, yes. Mm. Thank <laughs> you.